So after appealing to personal experience, James now turns to scripture. In verse 8, the apostle tells his listeners that they need to let love be their law. Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, this is a quote from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18, which is also referenced by Jesus in Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. The Bible also confirms this truth in Galatians chapter 5, verse 14, which proclaims this, For the whole law can be summed up in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. Friends, it's just plain impossible to truly love your neighbor if you are flagrantly favoring favoritism. Now let's see what the Apostle says next in verses 9 and 10. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. For the person who keeps all of the laws except one is as guilty as a person who has broken all of God's laws. We tend to trivialize our own trespasses, thinking our sins don't smell as bad as the sins of others. It's easy to think because we keep most of God's commands, it's okay to violate a few small ones. However, the truth is, to break one link in the chain is to break the whole chain. So we need to persevere in letting love be our law and favoring favoritism.